On average, Americans will spend over $1,000 a year on coffee. But is yours really that good? Look, I'm a frequent coffee drinker. I'm part of the club. I have a card. Barista Connor Poole of the West Oak Coffee Bar in Denton was a winner in this year's Brewer Cup qualifying competition in Austin. And even though he's loved coffee a long time... It was just about a year ago that I left the customer service technical support arena that I had been in for 10 years and decided that coffee was really where I wanted to make my living and my career. I made you coffee. That ought to help cope with the injustice of the world a little. So in about a year, Connor has become a finalist at the U.S. Brewers' Cup in Seattle later this month, where the competition is truly the best of the best. Every brewer is given the same coffee, and they're given 45 minutes to dial in that coffee and make three cups the absolute best that that coffee can taste. And then you're scored based on how well you serve them as customers, also whether or not they taste in the cup what you told them they were going to taste. Connor is one of only 12 finalists from across the country in the Brewers' Cup qualifying competition and the only one from Texas. It's my first year competing in competition, so as I see it, if I go to nationals and I'm not last place, <laughs> then, I've, then I've improved. And of course I had to ask, what's the best way for me to make a cup of coffee? Best way to make a cup of coffee at home is a pour over. The more you can remove the machines and get your hands on that coffee, the better. And the worst brewing blunder? Pods. You're just not really getting coffee there. You're getting hot bean water and there's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> and have a cup of coffee. At West Oak, we move out of gratitude for people, coffee, and culture. A link to the West Oak Coffee Bar in Denton can be found at krld.com slash around town. I'm J.D. Ryan. News Radio 1080 KRLD.